rise of China and maybe the slowdown in the United States of efforts towards being, you know, having the, the biotech pole position, I guess, <laughs> to use a racing metaphor, um, in the United States. And Geovax had a press release where you were talking about uh, some of the things that we could do broadly and also that would be specific to the vaccine space that could really help bring us back to that leading position around the globe for biotech and vaccines. And I thought I'd start out with giving you a chance to to highlight some of those. I think you had six items that you um, had listed, plus maybe a few more specific things for vaccines. So I'm going to pass it off onto you to uh, to, to race away with, uh, with um, what your recommendations are. It's a really a relevant question uh, that I've been asked at, at numerous meetings recently. And definitely China has and has had for several years now a strategy built around leadership globally in numerous industries with one of those key ones being in biotechnology. In fact, a reflection or a demonstration of their aggressiveness is that if you look at it today, the U.S. represents about 35 percent of global clinical trials that are underway. China is at approximately 30 percent. That's a very small difference. And it's what they've been focused on increasingly doing is conducting clinical trials as well as manufacturing, as well as APIs, using, utilizing AI to try and move for development, both in drug development as well as vaccine development ahead faster and faster. They clearly have a, a national investment strategy behind that industry something that uh, we, many of us, uh, such as myself and others uh, within the industry, uh, would like to see a more aggressive, more laid out and reflected uh, strategy being expressed by the United States uh, government, administration, et cetera, that would be built upon creating a leadership position uh, very strongly in manufacturing, of biomanufacturing, bio as well as uh, basic R&D, so sort of in moving into development, obviously clinical trials. There are a number of areas uh, that we believe are opportunities for the U.S. To, to garner greater leadership than they currently have and sort of regain the momentum. I, I hate to say it, but I don't think we have the momentum behind us as, as China seems to have right now. 